Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to warp images or anything into surfaces using Mocha Pro. Alright, let's dive into it. So here we have a footage of a girl. And we're going to apply a tattoo right here on this area where it's organic and it moves naturally. The only problem I see with this, it's the water, the water print, um, these water droplets in front of it and this piece of hair dangling around. Other than that, there's no issues as there's no light change or none of that. So I'm going to stop right here before the drops go in, in the front. Go ahead and cut it right here. Right, this 10 second mark. And then we're gonna move the comp over here. Okay, so once you cut the the footage to where there's gonna be no issues when you track this in Mocha, so you can see the hair dangles back and forth, and then the water drops go in front. You might start seeing weird tracking if you do it. So we're going to go ahead and pre-compose this. Make sure you move all the attributes. And now, you can apply Mocha. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit to where the hair dangles. So I know where, I, where to have an idea where to start my spline from. Or how low can my spline be? So I'm noticing that I can like go past this line. So we're gonna add an X spline. Starting here. Okay, so we're tracking that this area here. We're gonna make sure that this hair doesn't go past this line. So we're going to drag back. Before we track, we're going to track the perspective and the mesh. Also, we're going to change this to uniform, which uniform works best when you're tracking skin or areas with not enough texture. And also, we're going to generate a mesh. So as you can see, everything is uniformed. Okay, once you do that, go ahead and track back. And as you're tracking back, you should see the splines stay pretty much uniform. If you see the splines going out of place or stretching or doing some weird stuff, that means the tracking is going to be a little bad. Okay, once it finishes tracking back, go ahead and place the headline on the where you last tracked and then track forward. Go to your first frame. Once you finish tracking, go to your first frame and you can go over and check the mesh, how it looks. It should look uniformed. You can see all the organic movement. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is go to the stabilize. Click on this mesh warp. Rendering. Make sure it's on high. And you can click on this if you want. And then go ahead and save it. Okay, once we're back, we're going to... Edit tattoo to her. She wants to know how this will this will look before even get a tattoo, so it will give her an idea how this tattoo is gonna move with her. Go ahead and choose the size you're gonna make it. 
for this, we're going to make it a little small since it's not a big area that we tracked. Just the opacity. And then you can apply more effects to make it more realistic. Like that. And then. So we're playing right us, nothing is just there. Take it back. Uh, let's go ahead and pre compose this. Make sure you move everything. And then go ahead and go to your woman layer and copy and paste mocha on this. Control copy, control C. And then go to the tattoo layer and paste it there. Control V. So all the tracking we did here, it's now on the tattoo. Go to the mat. Go ahead and apply mat. Click on the render and choose stabilize warp. Depending on how you track that small area, it's how the tattoo is going to shape into that warping. So the better you track that, the better it's going to look. Now you have a tattoo that looks organic with the movement of her body. And you can apply this method to anything on Mocha, anything that's such as fabric or skin. And it will make it look very realistic. All right, well, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe.